Come on. Three, two, one. Yes! It's my 10th birthday this week. Uh, Jensen, can you please be quiet? Some of us are trying to keep a circular path around our star, you know. Oh, my apologies, Galileo. I seem to have forgotten your deliberate pace. Just look at me. I'm practically draping in an ocean full of lava that doubles as a fashion statement and a mantle made of diamonds. Just admit it, I am the star of the show. That is statistically improbable, Jensen. You are just a scorched super terrestrial planet. Meanwhile, I, Rahe, am a sub Jupiter planet about 50 times heavier than the Earth. I am 0.24 astronomical units away from our star, Copernicus. The closer that Mercury is from the Sun, my orbit is an elliptical dance full of a dynamic intrigue. And I am one of the first hot Jupiter exoplanets ever discovered. My existence was confirmed in 1996. I orbit incredibly swiftly. I orbit at 0.11 astronomical units in orbit Copernicus every two weeks. My mass is about 80% that of Jupiter. And just remember, Jansen, even if I move a few thousand kilometers closer to Copernicus, your diamond encrusted dreams will be over. Hey, hey, everyone, no need for all this cosmic friction. Just look where I am. Oh, Harriet, we know you're in the habitable zone of our star. Precisely. I'm special because I am the first exoplanet ever discovered to spend its entire orbit within its star's habitable zone. While I am a sub Jupiter exoplanet with a mass of 45 to 50 Earth masses, Astronomers theorize I could have potentially habitable moons. My orbital period is about eight and a half months, akin to Venus's orbit. Can you four shut the hell up for once? I'm trying to sleep. Sir Lipper, hey, we are just listing facts about ourselves because somebody thinks we are unique. <sighs> I might as well join in because I have nothing better to do. I am a Jupiter-sized planet nearly four times heavier than Jupiter. My orbit is about 5.7 astronomical units from our star, Copernicus, taking about 14 years to complete one orbit. These features make me a Jupiter analog. Due to my distance and internal heat, I may have water-based clouds, differing with Jupiter's ammonia clouds. Unfortunately, some recent studies have questioned my existence, suggesting my detected signal might be from stellar activity. I have to deal with our annoying neighbor, that red dwarf star 55 Cancri B, all by myself for billions of years. Wow, Lipper Hay, I didn't know how much he contributed to our planetary system. Exactly! No one understands the suffering I had to go through. Orbiting all alone and getting injured from debris colliding with me so y'all can play Howdle Zone and Diamond Princess. Now stop arguing. Fine, I may not be the most unique one here, but I am the prettiest. Jason! Hey everyone! Sorry to interrupt your little argument, but I've just been informed that we have two very special visitors coming from the 55 Cancri B subsystem. Who are the visitors, Copernicus? Oh, you will see.